Hey guys, James with TFB TV here at the Spore Revolvers booth at EWA in Nuremberg. I'm with Mr. Spore himself. We're talking about a brand new revolver coming from the company. You may remember last year we got to meet for the first time. It was my honor to have you. I, I am so impressed with your revolvers and the product that you make, and clearly you're passionate about it. So Absolutely. I think this is really cool that we get to meet again this yes, year. Yes, it's nice and to we've see got, you here. Yeah, it's nice to be here. Mm -hmm. And now it's nice to see this three inch version because I'm more of a concealed carry guy. I kind of like something in this size as compared to like the four inch and five inch, the larger models. Talk to me about it. And, and I want to mention, by the way, right at the outset, uh, I had to coax you into showing this. You didn't want to show it because you've got, you actually hand ground these grips the, yeah. to make it for the show. So the grips don't look uh, as beautiful as, as your grips normally Absolutely. do. So I want to mention that right now before we, because I don't want anyone in the comments to say, oh my God, you know, those grips look like shit. Yeah, this, um, this grip is just a prototype, yeah, prototype. so we had to finish it very fast. Uh, just one week ago, so that's yeah, right, that's what that is show. what's coming out. So, but, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me all about it. So yeah, we have a brand new um, revolver built, especially for the U.S. It's three-inch barrel, and we were using our uh, club line from Germany, which is sold in Europe under the name of Club 30, which is a special dealer uh, circle. Uh, and these revolvers will come uh, after ATF certification under the name of Sport Club Edition. Uh, on this revolver, we will have uh, skeleton uh, parts, so uh, trigger and hammer will be skeleton. Also, the cylinder release button is skeleton for this gun. And the funny thing is, we have it adjustable, so the uh, single action trigger is adjustable. And you can choose uh, the power, how to fire. Uh, yeah. And uh, they also will have uh, a button on the side, so you can do fast cylinder changing, so if you want to use a 9mm cylinder or something else, you can push the button and change it very fast. I've got a review copy, probably by the time this airs, that my review won't have aired, but whenever I got it, I couldn't believe how fast it was to change the, the cylinder out. Yeah. Sorry, I interrupted you. I had to remark. No, Continue, no, no, that's please. okay. Um, yeah, uh, the new thing is that, uh, that the uh, rear side is integral into the frame, so it's much lower for the, the aiming uh, line. And uh, yeah, we, we also have the polygonal barrel. We got a Picatinny rail on, on above. Uh, so this is uh, for you to mount. Maybe you can mount a red dot or something like that, just to make it possible. Do you shoot with red dots? Uh, not really in Germany. We're not using it in this, because you, there is no uh, reason for these guns in Germany. We love six inch and bull, bull's eye <laughs> shooting. You, you will not find this gun in Germany. So uh -huh. this is especially for the US market and uh -huh. for our customers uh -huh. there. Uh, what is not shown here, we will have a golden dot on the front side, of course, mm -hmm. for the US market, which is coming soon. And yeah, I think that's, that's how it goes. Mr. Spore, do you know how much these are going to cost in the United States? No, not really. This, yeah. this is prototype number one. And if I, after the show, I have to do a new calculation and we have to think about import costs and all these things, so yeah. Three and a half thousand? Yes. Something and like that, yeah. Is right. it right? These are very expensive revolvers. For me personally, I can come here, I can handle one. I've shot one. I see where the money goes. I, I can feel it. You know, it's one of those things when you pick up a Rolex watch. So the point is what you, you get something for the money. What? There are no MIM parts. Mm -hmm. That's what I have to say all the time because people are asking why is their price so high. Yeah, it's, it's very no, high. It, there are no MIM parts. We do all of full of, of milled steel. We harden the first, we, we, we first harden the parts and then we do the milling job and the erosion job and this is where the price comes from. So mm. this is a, it's another way to, to produce a gun because of high quality, small tolerances and that's, yeah, that was the initial idea to build this gun, to have a higher quality with small tolerances. Mim parts are okay for, for mass production, but if you want to have a, a very clean trigger, you cannot use mim parts. And Mr. Spore, you're a pretty modest man, but I, I'm going to, to ask you whether or not you agree with me. Would, would you say that possibly you make the best production revolver that, that money could buy? Absolutely, yes. <laughs> what else shall I say? <laughs> yeah, I mean, because truly these are, are fantastic revolvers, yeah. and it, I know that especially our American audience, we, we have such a good selection of reasonably priced revolvers back in the United States, so a lot of them, the viewers, are going to say, look, why should I spend so much on this? But I think you beautifully explained that, 
and I think you make a fantastic revolver. The three inch version, I'm very excited about. I hope I get to try it out. Mr. Yes. Spore, thank you so thank much for you. being on the program. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned, we're bringing you more from IWA.